you one step closer to getting flying cars? And are they still a terrible idea? Burp, burp. Find out more on today's Mouth Squad! <laughs> Now, we all know that you guys want to hear our thoughts on that big Musk story that popped this weekend. That's mm -hmm. putting it lightly. And we're going to get to that in a second. Yes. But first, the news. Mm. While Elon Musk's boring company has scored their first big contract to build a loop of high-speed underground sleds in Chicago. Shut down! Hey, the bears! Oh! Oh! Coronaries! I'm ditka in over here! And they've finally given us a deep dish on their next product. So far, they've been more known for their other offerings, which are... Hats and flamethrowers. Well, flamethrowers are pretty cool, Dan. You're yeah. exactly right. Okay, is it cooler than a hat? Yes, because it is brick. What? Yes. You gotta yes. be shitting me. Dan, don't sh bricks. Oh. Bricks made from the dirt that the boring company is displacing is turning into brick. And they're selling them. Oh, that's how they make them. Yeah. The Boring Company teased out the idea of developing bricks and possibly using them in affordable housing projects a few months back, but this is the first real glimpse of them actually being produced. And no, it's not how I thought. <laughs> I mean, bricks aren't as exciting as flamethrowers, but, you know, in terms of a new product, they are pretty solid. Yeah, these bricks lay a good foundation for any future non-tunnel-related Boring Company products. I thought we were gonna kiss. <laughs> You know what the future needs, Dan. Yeah, but I don't think they're ready for it. <laughs> well, just hold that weird thought for a second. It's flying hentai. cars. No. It's flying cars, Dan. It's always the hentai. We already have flying vehicles that you need to get licensed to use. They're called planes. Pixar made a freaking movie about them. Well, tell that to Google co-founder Larry Page, who backs not one, but two Whoa. flying car startups, Kitty Hawk Caca. and Opener, the second of which just unveiled their electric flying vehicle, Black Fly. Opener really needs to work on their naming conventions and has spent the last nine years developing Black Fly. It can travel at a buttery smooth 62 miles per hour for 25 miles at a time, and it's fully amphibious, which I guess it's super important for a flying car in case it becomes a swimming car. You also can't drive it at top speed for an hour. Yeah. Like 20 minutes. Look, 20 minutes is about as long as I want to be on a plane. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> they even say it is easy enough to fly without needing a license, which sounds like the worst Great idea. I oh. Well, the uh, no word on when the black fly will be available to consumies, but the good news is that nothing could go wrong with letting normies fly tiny personal planes without licensing anything at all. Yeah, we haven't heard any news stories about drones being a problem. Why not make them bigger but put people in them? Yeah, I mean, look how well it's worked for Harrison Ford, and that guy has a license. Never tell me the odds. Dan, I've been a little worried lately about Mr. Steven. Our producer? No, oh, f*** him. The boat. Oh, the giant boat with the net. Oh, I've heard of that. I, I remember this boat now. Yeah, he was the one that is supposed to catch the nose cones or the fairings yes. for SpaceX out at sea. Yes, fairings, if like Kyle, you nasty. They are not traditionally recovered, but SpaceX has been trying to catch and recycle the $6 million rocket piece in an attempt to be more cost effective. But so far, Mr. Steven has failed in all the attempts. Mm -hmm. But this upgrade to Mr. Steven has quadrupled the size of the net ahead of the next fairing catch attempt which is occurring later this month. This is our thickest Steven yet. <laughs> I sure hope the weather is fair enough for the next attempt and nothing about the catch goes <laughs> foul. I just hope this joke wasn't too on the uh, nose cone. And on that note, it's time for our Musk See moment of the week. Musk -see. See. We gotta get to it now. All right. Yep, we heard uh, you, and we know. Yes, yeah. believe us, we know. We Elon know. Musk's tiny child-sized submarine scheme to save the thankfully now rescued Thai soccer team that was trapped in a flooded cave system turned out to be a lot more controversial than anyone could have expected. Yeah, there were doubts about the sub's usefulness from the get-go, but it all came to a head when one of the rescuers who was actually involved in saving the 12 boys, a British diver named Vernon Unsworth, called the whole thing a PR stunt and said that Elon Musk could stick the sub you know, where the sun don't shine. And Musk responded by calling the rescuer a pedophile in a couple of now deleted tweets. So, even though we do this show and it's called Musk Watch, uh, 
All we have to say is... Here's... Are you fuck- Thanks for watching this week's Musk Watch. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit that bell to get notified whenever a new video drops. Make sure to comment below with your name for the next SpaceX boat. Our thickest Stephen yet. Uh, Sorry, the SS, our thickest Stephen yet. SS thickness is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Cause I got a sickness. For C thickness? Hell yeah, dude. And send your best musky stories to at Nerdist, at Dan Casey, and at SciFile. I'm both Nerdist and SciFile, apparently. And send your boat, and send your- And send your boats to Kyle, because he- I His marina him. is empty. I Just ravaged. If you know what I mean. I need more boats in my marina. Anyway, you, you, you guys know the hashtag.